Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Today I am going to explain you uh, some of the options in Akahu tool. So to start with the predictive survey, as we know you have to import the floor maps and you have to uh, do that coverage requirement marking. So I already done that for the training purpose. So let me explain uh, some of the options available on Akahu. Okay, so to customize this predictive survey, you what you can do is you can click on these options. So by default, uh, it will start with visualization mode of smooth. If you want, you can change that to detailed. Then after that, uh, you can select the uh, accuracy. By default, it will be uh, very. That can be changed to super. And all these values, you can change it if it's required and signal prediction if you have multiple floors and how much you have to predict so you can select that how you want to proceed so next one is adapter so you have multiple options here you can select any of the uh, any of the adapter here so based on that adapter that coverage requirement simulated by Akaho will change so let me select the standard Uh, standard uh, proxim adapter so I'm going to select the proxim adapter here uh, that is one then show as uh, strongest you have three options here you can either show the strongest AP in that place and uh, you can continue or you can go for the second strongest or third strongest I'll uh, going forward I'll just show you how that is uh, going to give the outputs okay then uh, signal at all channels you can select the channel number what you want to see based on uh, the uh, channel it can vary this is one option then uh, next one uh, sorry i placed one ap by mistake okay so uh, another option you can do is when you are uh, doing the predictive survey you can select the color pattern here so by default uh, standard one is coming as four if you want to change the color pattern as per your company requirement or something you can select anything available in this then uh, this uh, scale again uh, if you want to change that to one or something that spacing can be added here and uh, enable gray out will help you to f identify uh, what you are going to get it after your uh, the customer requirement so let me uh, let me do this alignment first so for an example you are looking for something like uh, a video requirement video uh, sorry uh, any voice requirement so uh, standard Cisco recommends that we can go up to uh, 67 uh, RSSI value that, so that DBM so that you will uh, get the proper voice roaming then after that you can select any value here it's uh, you have to talk to your customer and find their requirement so I'm going to put 75 here so that uh, you will be able to get the Wi-Fi but it's not uh, recommended for wireless so after doing this next option is you have to select the AP model so uh, in in this particular uh, training I'm going to select uh, latest AP wave 2 AP from uh, Cisco that is uh, 3802 let me add uh, some of the APs here okay so one AP I'm going to put it here yeah this AP is powerful and uh, that's the uh, reason you are getting this much coverage okay let me put uh, two APs here okay um, then uh, we'll set the values for this AP so as you can see here these uh, uh, height is uh, 7.9 feet so this information you have to get it from a customer uh, so I'm going to use 10 feet as height and power I don't want to use 25 milliwatt I'm going to use 12.5 so always while doing the planning you try to uh, keep the power level in the middle range so that RRM uh, the radio resource management can uh, do some kind of increase decrease on your power levels and get the coverage holes covered so I'm going to use 12.5 here and another uh, height is 10 feet okay so uh, for 2.4 I set this value so next one is for uh, 5 gigahertz so again I'm going to put 12.5 here it's only for example uh, to show you how that 
uh, reflects in your map. Again, I'm going to put 10 feet height. Okay, let me repeat the same for 2.4 height. I'm going to set anything of 10 feet. Okay. Okay, so now you got two of your APs that is uh, giving proper uh, coverage uh, for your entire uh, floor map. Let me do one thing. Let me uh, set this value a uh, little bit uh, less. So let me put this 12.5 as 3.13. Then this one let me put... something like 5. I, I want to just show you how we can see this in the simulated manner. Okay, so uh, this is your uh, map. So, um, normally everyone will start with the different uh, adapter. So, by default it will be row measurements. So this time we are using uh, the proxy adapter here. So instead of that, if I change to row measurement, you can see that difference in the predictive survey. So you have to make sure you are selecting the right adapter that you used for. So for an example, you gone into one site and you did the uh, data analysis. And after that, you are going to simulate the rest of the things like you gone there, you did um, predictive survey for some of the locations and you are going to replicate that for the entire floor. If that is a scenario, you have to use the same adapter used for the physical survey. So here uh, I'm going to use uh, same proxy adapter that I used for the predictive survey. So um, let me select that. So that, that makes a big difference. So you can see the coverage here. So right now this is the coverage. When I select this particular adapter, that is going to give a huge coverage because it's uh, that simulator uh, that is a cow is simulating using that adapter. So once you get this, uh, uh, last time I explained uh, how to use the strongest. So right now you are seeing the strongest AP in this floor. Let me change that to second strongest. So when you change to second strongest, you can see the difference. Uh, it's very minor difference. Uh, how we are going to get the second AP covering your uh, area. So, so thing is, uh, you have two APs. If you are not lucky and in worst scenario, one AP went down. If that's a condition, you have to make sure the second AP in the floor is able to cover that area. So that's why uh, that, that can be fined uh, using this option. Okay, so uh, now... Um, now uh, we know how to uh, do the predictive survey, placing the APs and all. So in depth detailed uh, discussion, we can uh, uh, have another uh, video for that. And next one is uh, right now you can see this gray areas uh, marked as non-coverage area and all. So when you do predictive survey, you did some uh, wrong marking or something and you want to change it. So how you will do that? So for an example, you can see this particular area is marked as uh, coverage area by mistakes uh, as like I did that but uh, if this one is a mistake you can select here and delete it that means that marking is gone and if you want to make uh, any changes on this marking already done here what you can do is you can select same coverage thing then change this so this is the only way you can change it Otherwise, you will not be able to change. You will not be able to change this one. It will not move as per your requirement. So this is how you can select it, and you can drag and do that changes. Okay, so today I'm going to stop here. Uh, we'll uh, explain another options in a cow in different video. Thank you for watching.